Mate, uh, so yeah, welcome to Cairns. Talk us through your experience here the last, well, how long you've been here and what it's been like for you so far. Yeah, so we flew in um, yesterday Arvo. Um, yeah, we had a two and a half hour flight up from Gold Coast. Um, yeah, boys are settled, settled in really well. Um, out and about yesterday, just going for a walk and um, yeah, sort of finding our feet through the um, hotel. And yeah, boys are really enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, it's been a really big week. First of all, going to Gold Coast and playing and having to get up again and fly back up here. But boys are really embraced the challenge of coming up here. And yeah, Cairns is a fantastic place to sort of display the game. Catch that game last night. What did that make you, I guess, take to the team's performance? Yeah, I did catch that. Um, yeah, it was a really strong wind um, in the first half I saw. And um, yeah, Demons sort of just didn't capitalise on their on their chances and I thought Sydney are really good. Um, yeah, but Melbourne, we got them in a three or four days and they're going to be really hungry. Their season's still on the line. So yeah, we've got to make sure that we're ready for them. Does it make you feel a bit more confident heading into the match on Monday? Uh, not really. I think we sort of focus on ourselves. Um, we had a really good game against Sydney in Perth and um, yeah, we take each week as it comes and yeah, we don't really focus on past results, who beat who. So yeah, we'll just focus on ourselves for the next few days and. On Sunday, we'll, um, yeah, we'll look into Melbourne and see how they play. And yeah, we're really looking forward to the challenge. Are you concerned about that? I mean, it was quite a talking point for both coaches, having, not having that sort of grandstand around today. So. Uh, not really. Um, I heard the locals say that the wind sort of drops off uh, a bit later in the day. And I think we're playing at 7.10. So yeah, not too sure what the conditions will be like, but we'll deal with it. Um, yeah, both sides sort of will have the advantage as well. Just on the hub experience as a whole, I mean, how's the group tackled that? It's, you know, it's obviously unique. How you sort of found it? Yeah, really good. I think the boys have really embraced the challenge from our first hub. Um, we had a really good stint back home in Perth. Um, played some good footy over there, but yeah, we really want to come over here, improve as a group, and um, yeah, play some really solid footy. Um, we're a pretty young group, so the experience of coming over and gelling as a team has been really beneficial. I think. Um, yeah, not too many kids over. My family's over with me, but yeah, I think that they're the only one. So yeah, we're really enjoying it. What's that like? What's that like having? Don't make what. What's that like having a young one in the hub with all the boys and that? That must be a different experience. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, she's only seven months old, so yeah, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but she's um, coping really well. The boys uh, said she's got about 40 uncles over here, sort of playing with her, and she loves it. All the boys have been really good with her, and yeah, it's been. Um, just like home, sort of bringing her over, which has been good. What's the main thing that you guys have talked about through just getting the rest out of these next couple of rounds for you as a team and what you want to achieve for the rest of the year? Um, I guess it's just playing the style of footy we want to play. Um, we want to be really strong in the contest. Um, we want to pride ourselves in our team defence and being able to lock it in our front half. Um, against Richmond, we reviewed that game pretty quickly. Um, sort of just came out a bit too easily once we got inside 50 and they sort of capitalised on those um, um, rebound 50s, I guess, for them. Um, so, yeah, final couple of rounds are really just playing our uh, brand of footy and, um, yeah, really playing the style we want to play. Yeah, just continue to play my role for the team. Really just want to finish off the year strongly and, um, yeah, continue to develop with the backline group. I think we've um, had a really good sort of year together. We're sort of growing each week and, yeah, continue to play to our system and yeah, every week's just another opportunity to get better. The Swans sort of spoke about, even though they got the win, they spoke about how these last couple of weeks are an audition for some of the players for next season for us. Is it the same for, I guess, five new guys now? Yeah, definitely. Every every time you step out on the field, you're um, showing off your, your skill set to everyone watching, I guess. And yeah, you don't want to have a bad performance. Um, yeah, plenty of boys are really keen to sort of break into the side. Um, there's a few young guys who are pretty close to selection and um, yeah, trying to play the first game. So yeah, everyone's trying to put the best foot forward and finish off the year strongly. So there's no sort of, you know, no down in at, at atmosphere at training, everyone's still really fizzed up and ready to rock? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, Melbourne this week, um, they're going to be really hungry to try and um, stay in touch with the eight. So yeah, we really want to put our best foot forward and yeah, they're going to be, it's going to be a really fierce contest, I think. And yeah, continue to play our, our style of footy. I think it will stack up. Just having Jesse back in the side, I mean, he's obviously had the injury challenges over the journey. I mean, what does he bring uh, from a you know, bit of atmosphere to the group? He's a very good player. We can be a lot of confidence having him back out there when he gets to his uh, full fitness. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you saw on the weekend when he gets a good lead at the ball, he was yeah, um, one of our better players, I thought. Um, yeah, he gives you a really strong contest down the line. Um, his footy smart is one of his main strengths. Um, he's really good at setting up um, the boys down there. He's always um, really communicating to everyone else to help. Um, yeah, that's one of his main um, sort of strengths that you guys probably don't see too much. So yeah, 